All right, welcome everyone. This is the mock interview series for SOC analyst and security analyst. With me, I have Jamin Parker. He's the interviewer for this mock interview series and I'm the candidate, okay? Uh, before we go ahead with the actual mock interview, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, this video is of course free, but if you do that, this will boost our confidence and will keep making such wonderful, lovely content forever, okay? So let's get started. Hi, Jamin, how are you? I'm good, Ashish. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. So, Rajnish, my first question is, what is Playbook? Uh, Playbook, uh, basically, it's a, it's a kind of step-by-step -step guide for handling different kind of, uh, you know, cyber, cyber, in, cyber security incidents and threats as well. So, for example, if we have ransomware, kind of attack. So playbook will tell you what to be done and who will take care of it. What is the step-by-step -step process for it, okay? So playbook consists of roles and responsibility, uh, like uh, incident response process, such as for, for security analyst, for security engineer, for uh, system admin. For example, if we have, uh, if we encounter a denial of service attack, so in those situation, what would a server admin would will do? What would uh, you know security analyst will do? What will a secure cloud security engineer will do? So those roles and responsibility as I mentioned. Another thing which is very important is the procedure. So it consists of step by step procedure for if if phishing attack happen, what to do? Ransomware attack happen, what to do? Uh, DDoS attack happen, then what all? steps should be followed it includes tasks such as data collection uh, initial forensic activity analysis of data containment eradication recovery reporting options so this is all usually happen next the third component is about dynamics uh yeah dynamics it it's basically talks about uh, you know learning process where we have past incidents and uh, some best practices as well to adapt some changes uh, based on the current threat landscape. So yeah, I mean, it, is, it also covers uh, certain uh, compliance related incident response as well. Maybe if some of the incident or uh, uh, some of the outages impacted, impacts the compliance. So it also create a playbook uh, for incident response for those compliances such as NIST, GDPR, PCIDSS. So yeah, that that's what uh, playbook. Okay, then let's just tell me what is security ransom and how it is different from the playbook. So well, uh, security playbooks and runbooks both are both both are used interchangeably. I mean, uh, the major difference, uh, although both have both have got their procedures, uh, responsible person. Uh, their responsibility into the uh, incident response activity, but the major uh, major difference uh, is that the security runbooks consist of conditional statements, such as if you look at this, if you if it happened, then what to do? If it does not happen, maybe no, then what to do in that case? So it has multiple. It it consists of multiple elements. First is the trigger, next is action, conditions, and output. This is also a part of security orchestration and response tool, so what we call it SOAR. So usually in this SOAR, we have run books where uh, it has a trigger. Trigger as in, if let's say we got an alert from any of the EDR software or endpoint protection software, so that creates a trigger that we got an alert. So that becomes a trigger. Now the action is what action need to be need to, need to be accomplished against that trigger. So task or running certain commands or collecting certain output, running some commands onto the endpoint, querying the database, sending an email, blocking that IP address or matching that uh, IP address in the threat intelligence feeds. So that becomes the action. We also have a conditions. Okay. It can be logical expression to determine the flow of the runbook. Maybe if then else 
or switch case or loop statement. So this is all possible. And I then output. So we can uh, we can generate the output as a log and report and alerts. And then again, we can have an action which will tell us to send a report to the, you know, uh, send a report to the uh, any the uh, responsible person in the team. So that the, the, these are the major component of it. This is usually, uh, you know, uh, when you when we work with the SOAR tool, the security uh, of security orchestration and automation tool, it has a kind of a capability to create the run books in their own uh, tool itself. So this becomes very useful over there where you can create uh, different conditional uh, playbooks, I would say. So run book is basically a playbook plus conditions. So yeah, that, that's how it is different. So when you say about the store, can you please give me some few example of store playbook? So yes, uh, there are multiple source. Uh, we uh, there's the Mister. Um, there's one from uh, Splunk. There's one from uh, uh, Microsoft Sentinel, uh, Palo Alto, Cortex. So all the, they, they have multiple playbooks, inbuilt playbooks, templates as well. So there are playbooks for automated incident response. There are, play, there are some playbooks for ransomware incident response, for uh, phishing email investigation, for crypto jacking, for vulnerability management, for performing automated threat hunting, or maybe to perform automated patch management, or uh, maybe automated uh, network security rules, via, or maybe it's the identity and access management so uh, maybe to for data loss prevention as well we can we can get the trigger as an alert and uh, we can create a playbook on the sword about if we get this alert we should perform a lookup or maybe a lookup on the virus total through the api and if it seems malicious then we can take an action maybe block uh, black uh, block list add that url or domain or file hash into the block list uh, block list table in the edr software or maybe in our threat intelligence feeds as well so this is how we accomplish it these are some of the examples okay great so yeah rajnish this is all i have for today thank you sure thank you so much german now uh, guys it's time for give you some detailed explanation on it. So I'll give you, uh, I'll show you a practical playbook now. Um, okay, I just shared my screen. This is a AWS incident response playbook. I'll, I'll share a link of this GitHub repository. You can get, get into the playbook and you can see multiple playbooks are already being created. Incident response for data access, for DDoS, sorry, DOS, okay? So incident type, you can see this is the playbook template. This is the introduction, which says that, uh, what is, what is, what's the purpose of this playbook? It's a summary of it. And what action need to be taken, gathering the evidences, contain, and then eradicate the incident, recover from incident, content, conduct the post incident activity and what are the services we could really you know uh, use uh, during that activity what would be the incident type the part one start with acquire preserve and document the evidence if this happened if the dos happened what all activity you have to do on very first attempt okay uh, customer contact feedback support call internal ticketing system collecting the evidences uh, using the cmdb for data entry communicate to the external party uh, confirm if there's any significant variation so you can look at the http code response for different response code and uh, yeah part two talks about the contain the incident from from uh, this is where uh, uh, you know you from till now you get the idea about the attack vector now your job would be to contain the incident about if it is a single EC2 instance serving the public internet or if it's a group of EC2 instance. So EC2 instance is like servers. So accordingly, you plan an action and contain the incident 
and then you will eradicate the incident. You will eradicate, you will clean your system, you will look at the WAF, um, look at the policy, perform any kind of uh, data filtering, file transfer filtering as well, and then you will work on recovery and post-incident in, uh, incident activity. So this is a sample incident response playbook by AWS, okay? Uh, this is a playbook where we have a step-by-step -step process, but if you want to look at the uh, run book, run book, as I said, it's a conditional statement, which you will find on the SOAR tool, where you have different triggers, conditions, actions, and reports, okay? All right, so I think you got it, uh, got the idea about the playbooks and run books and difference between them and some sample playbooks as well. So if you have any question, do let me know in the comment section. This is me, Rashnish Gupta with German Patrick. Bye for now.